Do you love being AFK inside of Steel Path survival missions with Octavia, basically staying endlessly in said missions? Well, if you are, I have a video that is something a bit different but kinda the same. And of course, for everybody else who is interested, I am your lovely one and only host, the Gaming Weasel, and of course, who would greatly appreciate it, a like and a subscribe if you do enjoy the content and love my voice. Zaku is the main Warframe of today's video are broken Warframes spattered into pieces and crafted into one Warframe. Basically he has everything that a Warframe player could want. Damage reduction, armor and uh, shield shipping as well, he basically steals enemies guns and makes them almost shoot to themselves. So his abilities go such as Zato's Whisper is his first ability applying void damage to the weapons you have equipped. Grasp of Loke, the ability that uh, steals enemies guns and uses them against each other, I guess against them, doing void damage and scaling void damage in fact. Now the numbers here, there's a lot of numbers, calculations and everything. Uh, keep that in mind, so the link to the Wikipedia page will be down below. Third ability, the Lost, there's basically three abilities bunched up into one, but the one that we're going to be focusing on is Gaze. Now you can cast Gaze on two enemies, and this will allow you to armor and also shield strip the enemies. And when I say shield and armor strip, I do mean 100%. And his fourth ability, the Vast on Time, gives you 75% dodge chance and area uh, damage reduction as well. Uh, so basically 75% damage reduction. And, you know, you do a little bit of void damage when you explode and everything else. But what is the most important part of this ability? Well, yes, it is that he pauses when you cast the Vast on Time. You pause the duration of his first three abilities, which is very, very juicy. Now, the build is a six form of build. Uh, basically, uh, try to bring your power strength up to at least 197 or 8% should be good enough. 200% to be sure. Now, mine isn't at the moment, but I do have Molt Vigor and Molt Augmented, which will bring up my power strength above that threshold. Now, why around 200%? Because at this point where I am right now, 194, I have a damage reduction of 97. Sorry, an armor and also shield strip of 97%. So bringing up to 200% will be the 100% uh, armor and shield stripping. But as I said, multi augmented and vigor do help this out a lot. Now, Prime Server footed if you do have it, the normal mods if you don't have them, equip the normal variants, but then you're gonna have to compensate uh, for more power strength, so keep that in mind. It is a very demanding build, not a really easy build to get as a new player, but, uh, you know, grind your way up to it and you will be able to do many, many cool things. So. The gameplay in the background is basically me just not doing a lot of stuff. I do have the Kuva Brahma just in case, but I'm basically not doing anything. The enemy's guns are basically killing themselves. So what and how are you going to play this Warframe? Pretty much the same as you would Octavia. Uh, first things first, cast your first ability so you have void damage. Then what you're going to do is pick two juicy targets and find a really really good spot where you have a wide area of damage, sorry not damage reduction but armor and shield stripping and pick two enemies because with gaze you can select two enemies that's maximum amount of i guess enemies that you can pick from and then select two of them they're going to be basically pillars of uh, of armor stripping and then what you're going to do is cast your second ability steal as many guns as you possibly can there's a limit i think with mine there's 14 uh that you can steal from enemies and then cast your fourth ability and just sit and wait and look at the Zaku's weapons, actually the enemies of weapons, killing each other. So the good thing is, because uh, when you steal the enemy's weapons with his second ability, they can shoot through closed doors, not through walls, but through closed doors they can. So in this situation where you see me right now, I'm basically shooting enemies through closed doors uh, on one of the sides, and the other two sides are basically just coming closer to me dying because they have no armor. 
Now, you do have to keep in mind, you can die pretty easily if you're not paying attention to your abilities. Uh, basically, the, the thing is going to be going, instead of casting four abilities, like with Octavia constantly, you're basically going to be casting your fourth and just keeping the duration on your first three basically infinite. Uh, it, can, it takes around, I think, uh, three or four seconds to cast this ability, so you're going to lose three or four seconds. So basically every like sort of minute and a half, you're going to have to cast all four of your abilities again, but it's not that hard to do, honestly. I think this is pretty much plain and simple and one of the easiest gameplay styles you can possibly play in Warframe. He's an amazing Warframe, a very, not really fun Warframe, but efficient, I guess you could say. Uh, the Kuva Bomb is going to be useful. Have a good primary with you, just in case. Uh, Acolytes do get armor stripped as well, so keep that in mind, so they're going to die easily as well. You know, void damage in and of itself is a very good damage type. It does not have any preferences. It's not good against this or that. It's basically neutral, but it does do 50% uh, more damage against over uh, guard enemies, so that is very, very good. That is the new enemy type with like blue bars around it, so keep that in mind, so that's very cool. Uh, Plus, every single weapon that is you're wielding has void damage, so pretty much plain and simple. And also, Eximus units are not going to be an issue for you because, of course, they're going to die as fast as basically anything else. So, that was the Zaku build video. I just wanted to mention before ending the video, there is a uh, you can use this for a crate breaking build as well. Uh, if you're like searching for something like Ayatan sculpture and stuff like that, and basically, what you're going to be doing is using the vast on time. Uh, cranking up the range and cracking up the, uh, up the efficiency and basically that is it just so you know and this was me the gaming weasel hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did do leave a like a comment do subscribe for more content and i will see you guys on the next one the gaming weasel over and out